Good morning, everyone. I hope you've had a good night's sleep and ready for a morning meditation. Let us all bow down to Sri Madhuji, raise our Kundalini, and put on a bandhan. This morning, I thought we'd start our morning with a beautiful prayer called the Morning Prayer. This prayer at dawn is profoundly significant as dawn symbolizes the inner awakening. Let us now sing one mantra to Sri Ganesha. Om Tuamewa Sakshat Sri Ganesha Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha As we're often on the internet and using our brains a lot, I thought we could listen to the mantra with the hum and the sham in it to clear our ego and superego. So our connection with the divine is more pure and complete. This is incredible. 
dental device Sorry is given peace that. of mind for just 140 Australian dollars. Dentists are... Let's try again. Settle down into a meditative state. Put attention on Zarastrara.
Let's keep our attention clear and stay in a meditative state. I'm now going to put on a talk to Sahaj Yogis in Pune in 1989 on the 27th of December where Sri Maharaji explains the morning prayer. Today was again a very busy day, <laughs> sorting out things for you, and uh, it was very interesting. I was thinking about you all and about the people who have done so much for Sahaja Yoga. Uh, it is impossible, really, to say how many have worked for Sahaja Yoga with such interest and dedication. And this dedication is directed by divine force. That's why I think you people are not even aware how much you have worked so hard without getting any material gain out of it. And the joy has no value. We cannot evaluate in any human terminology, nor can we describe it as to how we feel the joy of oneness together. This togetherness is very much felt in Ganpati Puri. I see the leaders from all over the world have become great friends. There's no jealousy, there's no quarreling, there's no fighting, there's no domination, there's no shouting, nothing. Such beautiful brothers and sisters, such a beautiful family we have created out of this beautiful universe. Now we have to maintain the beauty individually and collectively. Some people think that individually if you do something that is all right, but if it is not related to the collective, it cannot be Sahaja. 
anything that you do has to be related to the collective. Now to be individualistic is a trend in the modern times. And in that how far we have gone into nonsense that we know very well. Individuality is a personality within yourself which has to be of different hues, of different colors, of different beauties. Like if you see the flowers, now every flower is different and individual. In its beauty, in its softness, it is fragrance, in its form, in its color, every leaf is different. But they adorn the whole forest, the whole garden, in such a beautiful manner that the whole thing works towards the collective. So the individuality is where we do not become like other people exactly, like military people as they are, the outside, outside people may become like military people, but inside you become individual in the sense everybody has a different way of pleasing others, of teasing others, of loving others of saying beautiful things. Everybody has a style of saying nice things and of offering your words of thanks and words of appreciation. This individuality is to be developed by all of you. That what is the new thing I can say to please? As people have seen every day think what fashion I should have, what sort of a fashion I should wear, how I should become more fashionable. Outside, if you can think, how can I be more fashionable inside myself? In India, fashionable is, has a different meaning. It doesn't mean uh, 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 the, uh, we, we, we know in England. I think many people don't know that in England, fashionable means popular. Here, fashionable means uh, out of the out of the blue, something special, something extraordinary is fashionable here. So if we could put our attention to this, how we could be more beautiful inside, when we are touching others' hearts, how we could be very pure in our expression, genuine in our expression, not artificial. Like we have seen also that when you are superficial, you will say, thank you very much, thank you very much, thank you very much. And you don't mean it. It's just a lip service. You don't mean it. But in Sahaja Yoga, when you want to thank you, you see, it is really heartfelt. I mean, you say it from your heart. You have to put your hand on your heart. Otherwise, you just can't say it. It is, it is that way that we should feel. And once you open that heart fully, opening of the heart is very important. And that unless and until you can do it, you cannot enjoy anything. Sir. Because the heart where resides the spirit and it is the spirit that emits the joy. So if you do not have an open heart and if you are just living on very superficial level, you can never enjoy such. And this enjoyment of Sahaja Yoga is something to be really achieved and to be enjoyed. Because that's why you are here for. There's nothing else to offer in Sahaja Yoga but the joy of life. And that is the essence of all the achievements of life. Everything we do for the joy, but everything, whatever we do for joy, after some times we find it becomes a uh, sort of a reaction. So there is very important point that make our individuality beautiful, we should not uh, immediately react to people. Should not give our own opinion, I don't like it, I don't want it. But we should absorb the beauty of another person. Now supposing there's a flower you get, immediately you will see the beauty of the flower, you like to take the fragrance of the flower. 
But suddenly you say, I don't like flowers. Then the, what can the flower do? So one should not react and one should not have such subtle idea about your likes and dislikes. Because it's a joy killer uh, habit. It's a joy killer habit. If you want to enjoy, take enjoyment from every, every uh, person, like the bee which takes the uh, honey from every flower, you must develop that sweet personality within yourself. And then only you will know what is sweet, what is good. And the enjoyment from one person to another, from one collective to another, from one, uh, one uh, city to another, from one country to another, will be just a, a beautiful, uh, uh, like a swing. It will be like a swing, going up and down, enjoying yourself. That's what is your real divine uh, sensitive, sensitivity. And the divine just wants to do that. It's working out so many ways of giving you photographs, uh, uh, giving you miracles, uh, working it out and making you believe that you are in the kingdom of God. But if you have all these angularities and if you have all these ideas about yourself, then please try to neutralize them. Now some people also feel that uh, mother is angry with us or some sort of thing. I can never be angry with you. For what should I be angry? But if you think like that, forget it. First of all, you must see that something wrong with me. That's why I think like that. I must put myself right. So, just to judge yourself through such ideas and it's only your mental projection. It has nothing to do with your heart. So again, today, the first thing we have to know that in our heart lies the power to absorb, to enjoy the beauty of spirituality. There's a beautiful shloka which I had told Mahatmaji that he should put it first. He said, I was a very small girl, but he uh, listened to me, which is a beautiful thing, Pratar Namami. The first thing you have to say, Pratar Namami, Rudi Sanspurat Matatvam, Satchit Sukham Paramahan Sadatim Turiyam. Meaning, early in the morning, I pray to that principle of my spirit, which is the truth, the attention, and joy, so that I should go to the highest state of my ascent. So, opening of the heart is very important for all of us. I think that everyone can speak Hindi and everyone can speak English. I don't understand the people who don't understand it. I have to say a small thing about it. That your heart is very big. That is what you have to do with your heart. When you come to the water, you will be able to do the water. जैसे बूम सागर हो जाए इस तरह अपने हृदय को बहुत बड़ा बनाना चाहिए विशाल बनाना चाहिए छोटी छोटी बात को लेकर के जो लोग झगड़ा खड़ा करते हैं और छोटी छोटी बात पे जो तुल जाते हैं वो छोटे दिल के लोग होते हैं और आत्मा का आनंद जो है वो शरीर के आनंद से बहुत परे बहुत से लोग मुझसे कहते हैं कि माँ आप ऐसे कैसे इतनी हालत में रह लेते हैं चपरासी के कमरे में रह लेते हैं आप कहीं भी सो लेते हैं कहीं भी बाथरूम में चले जाते हैं क्योंकि इन सब जो कुछ भी आरामदेह चीज है उसको कोई उसका कोई खास असर नहीं आता उसको तो आत्मा का आनंद जहाँ मिले उसी में आनंद आता है और मेरे आत्मा का आनंद आप ही लोगों पर निर्भर है आप लोग सब आनंद में आ जाए तो मेरा आत्मा जो है बिल्कुल आनंद से भर जाए मैं सिर्फ चाहती हूँ कि आप लोग सब आनंद में आ जाएं और आनंद में ही पूरे समय समाये रहें। उसका बाहिय स्वरूप कुछ नहीं है, अंदर ही की लहर है, अंदर ही में स्पूर्ण होने वाली चीज है, बाहिय स्वरूप कुछ नहीं है, पर बाहिय को देखते हुए जो अंदर में घटना होती है, आनंद की जो उत्पत्ति होती है और � ढक लेता है और फिर सारा ऐसा लगता है कि दुनिया ही उससे ढकी जा रही है 
उस आनंद की मैं बात कर रही हूँ पर उसके लिए बहुत बहुत बड़ा दिल चाहिए सब लोगों को दिल बहुत बड़ा करना चाहिए और अपने को इस इसमें ढाल लेना चाहिए जो आनंद परमात्मा ने आपको लिए बनाया है वो आप खूब मौज से पी सके उसका आनंद उठा सके और उसमें रम सके ये एक बड़ी भारी बात नहीं है सहयोगियों के लिए क्योंकि अगर आप लोग उससे प्यार है तो मैं तो आप जानते हैं मेरा सागर जैसा प्यार है तो मैं इसको आप प्यार करते हैं मुझे अगर आपको हृदय पे बिठाना है तो आपको भी सागर जैसे होना पड़ेगा अगर आप सागर जैसे नहीं होंगे होंगे तो कैसे आप मुझे बिठा सकते हैं मुझे मेरे कुछ हिस्से आप बिठा लेंगे तो मुझे पूरी तरह से बिठाना तो बहुत बड़ा सागर जैसा दिल होना चाहिए सागर के किनारे बैठे हुए हमें यही सोचना चाहिए और इस सागर से कहना चाहिए कि तुम हमें अपने जैसा विशाल बना और सागर की विशेषता ये है कि सागर जो है सबसे नीचे की तह पे रहता है नीचे सबसे नीचे इसे नीचे कोई चीज नहीं होती सागर सबसे नीचे तह पे रहता है और सारी दुनिया भर की नदियां आकर उसमें उतर जाती है वो सारी नदियां उसके उतर उतर आने के बाद में वो सबको अपने अंदर समाते जाता है फिर उसके बाद कमाल ये है कि सूर्य में तपता है सूर्य में तप करके उसकी बाफ बनाता है और उसी से वर्षा हमारे सारे जितने भी प्रदेश है जिनमें लोग रहते हैं उनको सब उस वर्षा से वो पूरी करता फिर से नदियां बह करके आती फिर उसके अंदर समा जाती अगर ये किसी टेकड़ी पे बैठा होता तो इसका क्या उपयोग होने वाला था कभी का सूख के खत्म हो गया था इसी तरह जो मनुष्य हृदय का विशाल होता है वो सबसे नीचे ही बैठता है सबसे नीचे ही उतरता है उसकी कोई मांग नहीं होती वो सब चीज को अपने अंदर समाते जाता है ये विशाल तक की निशानी है जो सब चीज को अपने अंदर संभाले वही आदमी हृदय का विशाल है वैचारिकता से अगर कोई कहे कि मेरे विचार इतने प्रगल्भ हैं और मैं विचार से ऐसा तो वो बात नहीं विचार जो है बहुत तगाबाज भी होते हैं इसलिए जो चीज एक स्थिति है वो अपनी ऐसी स्थिति होनी चाहिए कि जिसमें हम इतने अपने को खुश न समझे अपने को इतने संतोष मिला है कि हम सबसे नीचे रह करके सब चीज को खींच सकते सब चीज को अपने अंदर समा सकते और तभी फिर उसके अंदर आनंद की लहरें उठ सकते आज समुद्र के किनारे बैठे हुए जान लेना चाहिए कि समुद्र के अनंत उपकार हमारे ऊपर में है और इसी प्रकार जो मनुष्य समुद्र जैसे होता है उसके अनंत उपकार इस पृथ्वी पर मनुष्य जाति पर होते हैं और आप सबके प्रति मेरा यही विचार है कि आप सब लोग महान लोग बने यही मेरा आपका आशीर्वाद Let's keep our attention on our Sarastrara. Let us keep our mental projections about life around us and stay in a witness state. And may I keep and may we keep to our spirit where this we have truth, attention and joy. of Guru Bhajan by Uma Sahaja Yoga.
Now let us sing one mantra to the last of the three great mantras. Om Tuameva Sakshat Sri Kalki Sakshat Sri Sarastrara Swaminini Moksha Pradainini Mataji Sri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Amen. Verily you are Sri Kelki, the goddess of the Sarastra Chakra, the Divine Mother, who gives spiritual liberation, immaculate goddess, we surrender to you. Jai Shri Now let's all bow down to Sri Mataji, raise our Kundalini and put on a bandhan. Thank you for joining in this morning. I hope that you've enjoyed the meditation.